No walkies today, I'm afraid, because the weather's just too damn rotten. So, let's have a look at the latest arts project. Today I'm going to be making Denzel the drum, the big bass drummer in the parade. And I started, as always, with a sketch. Okay, so I've made a basic armature just out of wire, uh, aluminium wire and uh, ordinary kitchen tin foil. Um, I want this guy to have a bit of a belly because this is going to be a bass drum in this old cosmetics container. Obviously it's plastic, this won't be baked as well. I'll have to dress it up with cardboard and bits and pieces, but it's going to be on his tummy like this and he's going to be playing it as he walks along. Dum, 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 dum. Um, I want him to have a bit more of a belly like so I've scrunched up a bit more foil into a sort of rounded belly shape. I'm going to stick that on there. And I've got a bit of masking tape here, which I'm going to use to hold the belly in place. Now it may seem weird using masking tape, because you think, oh my God, this is going in the oven. But it won't burst spontaneous into flame. See, the belly's looking much better now. See, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. That makes it quite funny. Um, and uh, I'm going to cover this with foil as well, uh, before I put my first layers of clay on. So trust me, it'll be fine. Well, there you go. The belly's now been covered with the foil. You've just got to squidge it a bit with your fingers to get it in the right shape. Look at it from lots of different angles. I've also uh, made a head. Now you may at this point be thinking, what sort of shape head is that? Um, now he's not one of the aliens from Indiana Jones 4. Uh, this guy is going to be wearing a tall band um, bandsman's hat so the um, existence of the foil inside is actually going to give some structure to the hat where it joins the head because I don't want the hat to be removable. Now I've got to cover this with clay. For this project I'm using Super Sculpey uh, which is I think very probably the best polymer clay on the market. Uh, I'm going to break a bit off and uh, the first job is to um, get this scrunched and softened and warmed in my hand so that it's pliable enough that we can then roll it out and make a sheet. I'm also going to be using cos clay um, because cos clay is quite similar with, to uh, Super Sculpey but it's, um, it retains a flexibility when it's baked so consequently if you've got outer clothing with sort of flappy bits of clothing and things like that um, it'll allow them to bend a little bit without snapping. So that's quite useful for the outer layers. One useful little tip is once the sculpey is open, it will start to dry, of course. So if you've got resealable bags like this, um, that's what I keep my blocks in. Now, some people have a nice um, pasta machine for flattening out their polymer clay. I don't, I do it with a roller. I do it with a roller and a perspex sheet. And uh, I get the same sort of results, just takes a little bit more effort, that's all. Um, I'll probably get around to buying a second hand pasta machine at some point, but then again, I don't do this. I mean, if I was a YouTuber who did this every single week, you know, how to put a new figure up every week, then maybe I'd invest in something like that. But the fact of the matter is, I do this every so often. So, uh, to be honest, the roll isn't that problem. But as you can see, I've got my sheet reasonably thin now. It's probably about a millimetre thick. Uh, that's now nice and pliable to be able to start draping over my figure. So, let's do that. Okay, so I've taken this cosmetic um, pot and I've stuck it to um, the lid from a sauce container that came with a takeaway meal. I've also cut out a ring of cardboard from some old packaging and that fits very nicely into there and into the uh, inset in the lid. And I've got another one here, which when I put it on there will also fit into that inset, which gives us a drum. And trust me, once it's all painted and done up and treated, it'll look great. Especially when we've got some ropes on there and some bits and pieces. Okay, so the next step has been to use hot glue to stick some bits of string around the outside of this to create the roping. Um, I'm going to give this all a coat of PVA now, which will help stop the fibres fraying. And uh, we're well on our way to creating the drum. Okay, so here's our drummer. Fresh out of baking, first bake. This is all now hard. Um, head's still removable, so I can at this point decide on posing. Same with the arms. 
and uh, the drum now looks like this because what I've done is I've put some beads on there and some uh, toothpicks and I now have a pretty good looking drum. Tom, that's all painted black and gold. I think it'll look pretty good. Okay, moving on to the main figure again. I've done a bit more work on the head now. So he's now got a face and the hat's starting to develop and he's got some hair and ears. Uh, so I'm going to be baking that now. Okay, so a little bit more work done. He's now got his hat. Um, he's now got ears and hair. I've just temporarily glued his hand onto his body. So I've done some work on the trousers as well. Uh, little cuffs around the ankles, I quite like those. And uh, the next thing now will be to do his shirt front and then we'll put his jacket over the top made of cosplay. And then we'll figure out some way of mounting his drum on the front. In the end, I decided against an actual bandsman's uniform because I didn't think it fitted with the folk festival theme. So I've added a bit of tassels to his hat and I've given him a sort of raggedy coat of a kind that's quite popular at folk festivals, which is just made out of lots of strips of cloth. Um, I think he's looking pretty good. And uh, the great thing about this cosplay, of course, is it's not going to snap off because it's flexible. Uh, I've also made the hands and I've baked those holding his little drummers made out of a bit of old uh, kebab skewer and super sculpy. And the drum is pretty much done. You've already seen that. So now, final stick together. Okay, well, he's just had his final bake. And as you can see, he's got his beaters, he's got his feet, there's the drum. Um, if I pick him up a minute, there we go. You get a sense of what he looks like. Um, you also get to see the useful thing about this cosplay. You see it's still got some movement to it, so it's less likely to snap off all these. Uh, yeah, so now he's just ready for painting. And then he can join the gang. So here's our drum, all now painted nicely black and ready for some gold spray over the top. And here it is now, it's all been bronzed. And here we have the final figure. I hope you've enjoyed watching that one. Tune in for another one soon. In the meantime, bye bye. Doodle bit. <laughs>